In this video, we will look at an application of Stokes law, the motion of a parachutist. So let us say this is a parachutist was ejected herself out of a plane and is coming down towards the earth. Let's say this is the earth ground level and, uh, and parachute is coming down with acceleration A and we want to find out this acceleration. To find out acceleration, we will use second law of motion that will be equal to the net force acting in the downward direction divided by the total mass of the system. So what is the system over here? In this case, we will consider this parachute, the man and the air linked with this parachute is there inside this as the entire system. We will look at this as an object which is coming down with acceleration A inside the fluid which is again air. So this is the air and this object is coming down with acceleration in this fluid. So let's begin with the total mass of the system. Let us get an equation for the total mass of the system. Let us say M1 is the mass of the parachute plus the man and M2 is the mass of the air of the air linked with the parachute. So this M2 is the mass of the air linked with the parachute. So the total mass of the system will become M1 plus M2 and therefore this equation will take the form F net in the downward direction by M1 plus M2. Now let us look at F net. F net in the downward direction will be equal to the sum of all the forces acting in the downward direction and that will be equal to weight of the system. So W. So this will be equal to W the weight of this particular object minus the buoyant force plus the viscous forces. These two forces are acting in the upward direction. So these are the upward forces whereas weight acts in downward direction. Therefore the sum of upward forces minus the sum of up let me repeat this again. The sum of downward forces minus the sum of upward forces will give me the net force acting in the downward direction. And now let us get an equation for all these three forces. Let us begin with W. W is the total weight acting in downward direction. That means it will be the weight of this object or the system. And that will be M1 plus M2 into acceleration due to gravity G. Let's move to the viscous forces. Now viscous forces we know are velocity dependent. As the velocity increases or for a higher velocities, the viscous forces increase and if the velocity is low, the viscous forces are less. In this case, when the parachutist is coming down, the velocity is relatively less. Hence, for sake of convenience, we will assume that viscous forces are equal to zero because the parachute is coming down with a lesser velocity as compared to what it would come down or the way the man would come down if there is no parachute. So we will assume viscous forces to be zero. As far as buoyant forces are concerned, buoyant force, the general equation for buoyant forces Fb is given by the immersed volume into density of the fluid, in this case density of air into G. Now what is the immersed volume in this case? That's what we want to find out. Now the object is this entire system. So the immersed volume will be equal to mass upon density into density of air into G. The mass will be the mass of this air and density will be the density of the air linked with this parachute. So this will 
equation will take the form m2 which is mass of the air into density of air into density of air into g these two get cancelled out i get m2 g as the up thrust acting in upward direction and therefore the acceleration will be equal to w is uh, m1 plus m2 g minus m2 g minus 0 which is viscous forces m1 plus m2 and this will be equal to m1 g plus m2 g minus m2 g so m2 g will get eliminated from the equation we will get m1 g by m1 plus m2 so we can say that the parachute will come down with an acceleration approximately equal to m1 or rather m2 g by m1 plus m2 rather uh, in fact i made a mistake or it will be m1 g m1 g m1 g by m1 plus m2 let's go back to this volume immersed volume now, a question that might come up in somebody's mind is that volume, immersed volume in this case is mass upon density and this is the object. So, I should take the mass of the entire object and then density of this entire system. But if you look at this object, the volume, the space that it occupies is mainly decided by the amount of air over here, the volume of the air, not by the volume of the parachute or by the volume of the man. The man and the parachute form an extremely extremely small part of the total volume. The main volume of this object is because of the air and therefore we take this as m2 the mass of air into density of air and not the total mass and the total density of the system. So with this we get this equation primarily we have made two assumptions in this derivation of this equation one is that the viscous forces are zero and secondly we have assumed that the volume of this system is the volume of the air and we have completely ignored the volume of the parachute and the volume of the man but with this equation we will get fairly accurate results to find out the acceleration of the object 